Okay, ito na yung offline EBIR forms package V7.6. So, ito yung pinaka-latest na version ng EBIR forms. So, sa mga hindi pa nakapag-download o nakapag-install, uh, go to the BIR website. Just type www.bir.gov.ph. So, so, after nyo na ma-download, so ito na yung form. So, i-fill up nyo na yung required field sa profile, sa taxpayer identification number, sa RDO code, yung line of business nyo. Then, sa registered name for non-individual, registered address, zip code, telephone number, at saka email address. I-prepare nyo na yung email address na valid kasi kailangan niya ni BIR para doon niya i-send yung reply niya sa yung sa notification. Okay, so sa list of BIR forms, please select. So, ang i-fill up natin ngayon ay yung annual income tax. So, ito yung pipiliin natin. Ito yung bago. BIR form 1701A, annual income tax return. Tapos, may new. Ito yung i-click natin. Yan. So, i-click lang natin tong fill up. So, sabi dito, background information saved, updated successfully. So, okay lang natin yan. Okay, ito na yung form ng 1701A, Annual Income Tax Return. So, this is designed for, uh, basahin natin to, individuals, for individuals earning income purely from business or bar profession. So, para sa mga negosyante, uh, sa mga single proprietorship lang po, itong form na to, sa, kung negosyante ha. Kasi may iba din yung form sa corporation. Then, sa profession naman, uh, ito rin yung ginagamit, yung doctor or dentist. Ano pa yung mga individuals na professionals. So, for those under the graduated income tax rates with OSD as mode of deductions, or to those who opted to avail of the 8% flat income tax rate. So, itong i-fill up ko ngayon ay uh, naka-graduated income tax rate with OSD, yung mode of deduction. So, okay. So, simula na natin. So, for number one, for the year, nakalagay dito December. So, be sure na 2019 kasi 2019 yung ipa-file natin ngayon. Then, number two, amended return. Click mo yung yes pag amended na to. Kung inulit mo, kung may mali yung sa una mong pag-file. Pero kung first mong pag-file nito, uh, i-click mo yung no. So, number three, short period return. Uh, hindi naman. Kung yes, o di, kung hindi whole year, or kung ano yung rason na ano, short period, i-click mo, mo tong yes. Pag hindi naman, whole year naman to, so nakalagay no. So, kasi yung ipa-file ko ngayon is whole year kasi siya. Then, sa number four, 5, 6, mayroon ng, ay, 4 sa taxpayer, at saka 5 yung RDO. Leave lang natin kasi mayroon ng naka-fill up dyan. So, number 6, taxpayer type. So, single proprietor. Negosyante na isa lang ang mayari, single proprietor. So, ito yung naka-click natin. So, number 7, yung ATC niya, alphanumeric tax code ATC. So, ito yung naka-click na, eh, yung business income graduated IT rates. Okay, so, number 8, 9. Leave na lang natin, may naka-fill up na dyan. So, yung number 10, Yung birth date na lang. Then, yung email, andyan na. Number 12, citizenship. I-fill up din natin yan. So, number 13, claiming foreign tax credits. No. 14, pag applicable lang. So, number 15, contact number, meron na. So, number 16, civil status. Single, pag single. Pero, married yung may-ari nito. So, click natin yung married. So, if married spouse has income. So, lagyan natin yes. Then, number 18, filing status. Kung joint filing, i-click mo yung joint filing. Pero pag separate naman, uh, separate filing. I-click natin yung separate filing. So, number 19, uh, as you've noticed, naka-graduated naka rates with OSD na yung nakalagay dito, naka-fill naka up. Kasi sa number sa number 7, pag kiniklik mo tong business income graduated IT rates, mag-automatic na yan dito sa number 19. So, sa part 2, total tax payable, um, ilib mo na natin yan kasi ang mga amount dito ay mag-automatic yan, magkakaroon yan ng amount pag na-fill up natin yung sa page 2. Okay, dito sa part 3, details of payment. So, pag nag-manual filing kayo, i-fill up nyo lang to. Example, kung cash, lagyan mo ng amount dito kung magkano yung babayaran. Kung check naman, so, ano yung banko, tapos check number, date ng check at saka amount. Yung tax debit mo naman, uh, depende lang yan kung may account ka sa banko, tapos i-auto debit nila yun. Depende lang yun sa usapan ng banko. So, next natin sa page 2. Okay. So, ito na sa part 4, computation of income tax. So, if optional standard deductions, OSD, fill in items 36 to 46. So, it, 
Dito tayo pi-fill up kasi naka-OSD tayo. So, part 4A for graduated income tax rates. So, number 36 to 46. Ito yung pi-fill up natin. So, sales, revenues, receipts, fees. So, for the whole year to sa 2019. So, for example, uh, yung total ng sales nyo for the whole year. Example lang ito ha. Yung mga issued receipts nyo. Yan, 102,000 lang for the whole year yan. Ito lang yung inisyuhan nyo ng cheque. Eh no, cheque naman. Official receipts or yung invoice, kung magkano lang yung binta nyo. Itotal nyo yung whole year from January to December 2019. So, number 37. Less sales returns, allowance, and discounts. For example, yung, ano ba example sa mga discounts? Uh, yung mga PWD or yung sa senior citizen kung meron. Ilagay nyo dito. Sa akin wala. So, 38. Net sales, revenues, receipts, fees. Um, item 36 less item 37. So, sabi dito, 36 less sa 37. So, yung sales minus discounts, lagay dito. Uh, as you've noticed, kasi wala tayong nilagay na discount, uh, wala tayong minaminus sa sales. So, the same amount, 102 pa rin siya. So, number 39, less allowable deduction. So, optional standard deduction, OSD, 40% of item 36. So, ito yung OSD natin, 40% ng sales. So, 40% ng sales na natin is Ang, ang 40% ng 102,000 is 40,800. Yan. Naka-automatic na siya. Automatic calculated. Ito yung maganda. Hindi na tayo magamit ng calculator. Then sa so number 40, net income. So item 36 less item 39. So net income. Ito na yung net income natin. 102 minus uh, 40,800. So 61,200. Ito yung pagbasihan kung magkano yung income tax natin. So, number 40, eh, dito tayo sa 41, other income specify. Wala nang tayong other income. 41, 42, wala, zero lahat yan. So, number 43, amount received share in income by a partner from general profession. Wala kaming partner, zero yan. Total other income, sum of item 41 to 43, wala naman. Wala kami yan. Then, sa number 45, total taxable income, sum of 40 and 44. So, 40 net income, 61,200. Tapos, and 44. Other income, wala naman zero. So, nakalagay dito 61,200. Yung taxable income natin. So, sa 46, tax due. So, item 45, ito, itong total taxable income natin, times applicable tax rate based on tax table below. So, may tax table tayo. Yung sa under train law, train law, below 250,000 income, walang, walang tax yon. Doon magbabase. So, 61,200 lang yung income natin, taxable income. So, zero yan. Yan ang kagandahan. Okay. So, sa part 4B, this is for the 8% income tax rate. So, wala tayo. Tingnan mo naka-disable siya. Hindi tayo pwedeng mag-input uh, dito kasi hindi, hindi ito yung pinili natin. Naka-OSD tayo. So, leave natin yan. So, sa part 4C, tax credits or payments. Attached proof. So, mag-attach tayo ng proof kung meron. So, sa 57 prior years, excess credits. So, wala tayong excess credits that sa last year. Okay, sa 58, tax payments for first three quarters. Uh, wala, zero kami. Sa first to third, wala kami binabayaran kasi hindi tayo umabot sa 250,000. Then, 59, creditable tax withheld for the first three quarters. Wala din. Uh, number 60, creditable tax withheld per BIR form 2307 for the fourth quarter. Wala, zero. Wala kami, wala kami 2307. 61, tax paid in return previously filed. If this is an amended, hindi naman zero yan. So, so, 62 foreign tax credits if applicable, zero. 63 other tax credits payments, pag meron, wala, zero lahat yan. 64 total tax credits payments. So, sum of items 57 to 63. So, naka zero lahat yan, kaya zero din. Yan. So, net taxable overpayment. So, item 46 or 56. Uh, tingnan mo. 46 or 56. Yan, tingnan natin. Ang 46, 0, or 56, 0. Kaya, 0 lahat. Okay? So, sa part 4, background information sa spouse. Uh, Naka-ano yan, naka-disabled lahat yan. Kasi, uh, separate filing yung naka-click natin kanina. So, okay na yan. Sa spouse lang tong part 4. So, hindi na applicable yan. So, tingnan natin yung previous, page 1. Okay. So, sa part 2, total tax payable, number 20, tax due, wala siya, tinan mo zero. Kasi naka-zero lahat doon eh. 
So, 21 total tax credits payment, 0, 0, 0 lahat. 22 tax payable over payment, 0 lahat. Okay. 23 less portion of tax payable allowed for second installment. Wala naman tayong installment kasi 0. So, 24 amount of tax required to be paid upon filing or over payment. Less, uh, item 22 less 23, wala, 0 lahat. So, add penalties kung meron. Ang penalties lang naman pag na late filing, ganyan, meron yan. Ito, 25, 26, 27, 0 lahat yan. Kaya total lang penalties, 0. So, number 29, total amount payable or overpayment, 0. Aggregate amount payable over payment, zero, naka 0 lahat yan. Okay? Ito, if overpayment, mark 1 box only. Wala, wala naman to. Pag, na, pag overpayment to, ito, mag-choose ka lang ito kung ano yung gusto mong mangyari sa overpayment mo. Pero much better itong to be carried over as a tax credit for the next quarter. Kasi ma, ano daw mabusisi daw itong to be refunded at saka itong to be issued a tax credit. Mas maganda itong to be carried pag meron. Since nawala naman. So, okay. So, yan na natin. Validate. Validate na natin to Okay. Sabi dito, validation successful. Click on edit if you wish to modify your entries. So, okay. So, isasubmit na natin to for final copy. Submit final copy. So, sabi dito, please ensure that you have internet access and a valid email address is indicated in your tax return. So, okay lang natin to. Ayan. So, ito na. I-click na natin to. Okay. Okay. So, wait lang natin. So, ang attachment pala nito is, ano, no need nang mag-attach ng financial statements. Ang, ang i-attach na lang dito is yung management responsibilities. O, pag naka-OSD ka. Kasi automatic na yung 40% na deduction sa, ano mo eh, sa sales. So, no need nang i-itemize. Unlike sa ibang, ano, other options sa method of deduction. Kailangan may financial statement. Ito, submit successful. Sabi niya, a notification will be sent to your email. So, please ensure that said email address is correct. Then, check your inbox, including your spam folder, in the next few minutes for the email. Print or save the email as evidence of e-file return. Okay. Sabi niya, note, there will be some delays on email sending of confirmation. Please be aware that. So, okay na natin to. Okay. So, if you wish to, ano, open the, ano, so you can now pay elect electronically through the following channel. So, kung gusto natin tingnan kung ano yung mga e-pay, yung electronic payments, uh, buksan natin. Pero pag, ano naman, hindi, di, I-close natin. Pero, tingnan natin. Sabi dito, set up Internet Explorer 11. Ask me later lang muna. Yan. Okay, so we're here in the BIR website. Sa ePay, electronic payment. Kung, kung ayaw natin magbayad sa over-the-counter. So, dito na lang tayo pipili. So, sa Land Bank, may ATM sila. May instructional video sa BankNet din. DBP, Development Bank of the Philippines. Globe Gcash. Dapat, I would prefer Gcash talaga. I recommend Gcash. Mas madali lang siya. So, sa mga wala pang idea sa Gcash, madali lang talaga siya. Pag na-install nyo na, pwede kayong uh, mag, magpa-cash in doon sa 7-Eleven. Yung sa click na ano nila. Click na kiosk. Doon lang. Madali lang. Then sa Union Bank. Then sa PayMaya. Bago to PayMaya. So, yan guys. So, okay. So, hintay-hintay na lang natin ng konti yung, ano, yung tax return confirmation receipt na naisubmit na, na natin para maiprint na rin natin yun. Kahit hindi tayo magbabayad, at least may print out tayo at saka yung sa form natin for our file. Uh, ito pala, uh, ano pala to? Kailangan pala natin itong, kahit zero siya, uh, ipareceive pa rin pala natin to sa BIR kung saan kayo nakare, ano, kung anong RDO kayo. Kasi annual pala to. So, tapos yung attachment nito ay yung ano, management responsibilities. Okay? Yan, mabilis mag-reply si BIR na yun. Ito na yung confirmation receipt. So, i-print na natin to. Be sure to print. Kasi hindi natin alam baka madilit. I mean, oo, madilit yung email natin. At least may hard copy na tayo for our file. So, yan lang guys. Sana nakatulong ako ng konti or nag, nakapagbigay ako ng konting idea sa mga baguhan na hindi alam kung ano yung mga hitsura ng mga forms. So, thank you for watching guys. So, see you, see you in my next uploads.